Right, well, welcome back to the Little Dartmoor stream. And it's the 4th of July today, so happy independence for anybody who's watching from across the pond. What that means for me, of course, is that it's actually not going to be dark. Well, sunset tonight is at half past nine, so got loads of time. I'm hoping to get up onto the higher part of the moor, above where the trees line finishes. And uh, this time I brought a spare battery, so I don't have to worry about that either. No rises in this pool yet, which uh, isn't a good sign. This is normally a good one, a banker. But uh, we'll see what the evening brings. We had a little bit of rain last week. Um, so the river's been up a tiny bit, but it's soon fallen away again this time of year. There's a few black gnats about on the water, so I'm trying a little black clink hanger to start with. And there was a rise actually there. If in doubt on these streams, something small and black. Not going to go far wrong with that. Oh, that's tiny. Oh, that really is tiny. That's a bit better. And it didn't swallow the thing. Beautiful colours on these fish. I like in that little black clink in here. a salmon par. That would be nice to think it would be a salmon par. Long time since I've caught a salmon par but the, the tail looked right. That would be nice to think the salmon is still running up here. Well, the forecast was for it to come out bright and sunny this afternoon. It's actually been drizzling with rain, so it's pretty dark in under here. All the more reason, I think, to get up on the, the higher moor. I'm struggling to see this little clink. Even with the post on it. better fish. Just snipped it. I think what I'm going to do is just cherry pick a few of the better pools down through here and uh, make my way up onto the, the more proper a bit quicker than I normally would. Ah, 
Oh, I've gone for another fly change now. Back on the CDC and Elk. Oh, that crashed that, didn't it? Oh, smashed it. That's the best one so far. Oh, look at that. Lovely. And these black trout again. Right, okay. Be back in there. Look at those. Oh well that worked. That <laughs> really smashed into that, didn't it? I was just about to say more of a sort of bring them up type pattern and it, it did. For anyone who might be interested, I'm using a six foot six two weight tonight with a three weight line on it. So I've overlined it just because I'm not going to be casting much line out. And then my standard setup of a five foot thread furled leader. You could use a smaller one, I suppose, three foot one if you wanted to on these streams, but I don't know. When I've tried using the shorter furled leaders, I found you don't get the same amount of drag free benefit from it. And it's just as easy to cast a five foot one. Probably going to be it for that pool, isn't it? That crash about. And that scared another fish out of down in here. Look at the patterns in that rock swirls. All the years the water's been coming in here and doing that. Fantastic. Well, I've made it up to the bridge, so that's probably about two thirds of the way. And look, the weatherman was right. It's brightening up. So up on the moor up there, it could be quite nice tonight, really. A little bit of breeze, keep the midges away. Hopefully it's not going to affect the microphone too much. And uh, it's only about quarter to seven, so I've got loads of time. Get up there, show you some more of those pools. Nice fish just risen under there. I'm going to have a cast under the bridge before I go. Perfect. We're about taking them off. Quite a long range hookup for me on here. Look at this up here. Just stunning. All through that bit but it's actually easier to go up and around I think well it's a long old climb but look at it Isn't that amazing I think while I still am able you've got to take the chance haven't you There's going to be a few years where you won't be able to come and do this. Make the most of it while you can. That sounds a bit depressing, doesn't it? Mm.
Oh, it's not a bad fish. Oh, darn it. That would have been nice to see. Right, well, just for a change, I've swapped onto a parachute Adams with a big orange post. Oh. Amber coloured post, I suppose. Struggling to see the fly in this water up here. Oh, I can see that all right. Ah. I mean, I could look the fish though. I could at least see the fly. Not much rising, unfortunately, but never mind. Ah. The ones I am rising, I keep missing. Mm. That's quite a tiny one. One last. A little fish. Beautiful colours on these fish, isn't it? I'll just have one about just twice the size, I'm gonna be greedy. <laughs> Crazy fish. It's a funny thing, isn't it? It never gets boring.
just can't help thinking, oh, yeah, let's get another one. <laughs> oh, there you go. Braced it, sir. I think this was the pool where the battery ran out last time, so we'll go up a bit more this time. I wonder what the difference is. Some nights you can come up here and literally every cast you get a little snatch and fly and take and stuff. And then other times it's really quiet. Oh, please get in. Oh no. That was a shame. That was a quite a big fish up here. I saw that jump right out over on top of the fly. Ah. Oh. Looked it all right. One's pulling a little bit, but it's not like that fish I just lost. Oh, wow. You don't want to slip over up here, do you? Even with the felt soles on, it can be a bit treacherous on this weed. Ah, oh, Chris. Half an hour too late. Let's look at this hillside here. Some giants just got all these rocks and just scat them about everywhere. And it's starting to lose the light a little bit now. A few more pools, I think. Even watching. I'm getting smaller. Ah.
from long distance release. Look at this big old lump of granite jammed in here. How long that's been there, stuffed against that rock. Right, well I think I'm going to make this the last pool. It does go on further up if you want to, but uh, I've got a long trek home now and if I'm honest, it's been a bit quiet. I don't know why. It's not that much rising. Oh no! <laughs> That's one way to make the real scream, isn't it? Strike without holding the line. I was just about to say, normally you just flick it in there and you'd get a rise. Now, oh, Wally. It seemed like tonight it's been, you get one rise and that's the end of it, scares the pool. Fantastic place to come and spend a few hours. Well, I did manage to hook a couple of better than average fish, but uh, unfortunately they both got off, so I think that last one was my only chance to finish on a high and I mucked it up. So I'll catch you next time. Well, I've climbed up the boulders for you, just to give you a bit of a panning shot to finish with. That view out through there.